All right, it says, no TV news or most TV preachers beyond this point. There's the point right there. I'm not on TV, so I'm good. Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south, more specifically Greenback, Tennessee. I'm in front of the Greenback Castle, built by Junior Banks. One man created this entire castle as an ode to his religion, his God. And it is an absolute fascinating piece of construction. And um, Junior has some very unique views on his castle and its meaning. And uh, it believes that um, certain figures, certain religious figures, both evil and good, have been emerging in the castle. Signs of them appearing on the walls, on the floor. So it's been a few years since I've been here. I'm going to stop back in and, and see how the castle's coming along. It says, where are the TV preachers? What are they doing? It looks like uh, Junior has had some sort of disagreement or altercation between TV preachers and TV news. That, that wasn't here last time. It says, I have two of the rarest pictures ever taken. Where are the Pulitzer Prize people? Hmm, wonder what pictures those are. The Almighty is now science fact. Where are our scientists? There's a little cemetery here. I don't know if there's any people buried, but this uh, particular grave has a very interesting inscription. Little ladybugs embedded in the walkway, and there's some silverware. And here's what I was talking about, where Junior um, finds the, the shapes, the discoloration in the concrete, and put black around it to emphasize it, which he believes are, you know, certain people from the Bible, certain people from religion that are, are materializing in the castle. As you see, the Greenback Castle still under construction. I guess it's perpetually under construction. He was working on this last time I was here. This almost looks like a little jail cell. There's a little cannon right there. Some cannonballs aimed off into the woods. It's protecting the castle. Here, you can see he's done different cartoon characters. There's Homer Simpson, Marge Simpson, there's Mickey Mouse. And up here, this, this honestly did startle me a little bit when I saw it. Is there music playing in here? Okay. In this area right here. Last time I was here, that, that red circle, he said that that was a demon. Oh, fake camera. Oh, camera won't focus. Oh, that's weird. Camera won't focus. That was a demon. Supposed to be coming up from the floor. This is like a bedroom area. Oh, wow, look at that. Carving above the bed. Check upstairs. Okay. Huh. He's got a moose. It's a night here. That's just it's a really interesting detail. If you look around, there's like snakes, concrete snakes crawling down there. Then over here, a two-headed snake. Don't know what all these inscriptions mean. When electric wire is grounded, the direction upper top has been created. The electrons will float, not flow, to the top. This will produce an electric, so it means current. YouTube Green Back Castle, over 250 stories. Direction up or top must be created before gravity can exist. Hmm. There will come a time where there will not be enough good to put away bad.
Well, you can see some of this has been painted. This is the Egyptian paintings. It says that's, this is the Little Nile. There's this engraving of a recipe. It just says happy food, chopped celery, oh, simmer for 30 minutes first, dice some onions, sprinkle with meal when about done, add three eggs when almost done, add four pieces of cheese five minutes before done, and add uh, black pepper and salt. If someone out there would like to make that and, and let me know how it tastes, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, this area in here, this wasn't finished last time I was done. This is winding staircase up to the top. It's still not finished, but he has done some work up here. I don't know what this room is. So we got some hanging garlic and beans. And there it is. This is, he says, one of the horsemen of the apocalypse. What's in here? How did the early settlers survive? One corn, break it as a happy food. It's work today. It would work today. Huh. So I've got a chess game in progress here, but like all the pieces are the same color. Yeah, all the detail in here. And then we got these deer skulls built into the ground. This graveyard is for all the uh, stray dogs that Junior took in. This one's name is Wolfman, Speck, Billy the Goat. I guess that's a goat. So yeah, Junior would take in all these stray dogs and take care of them. This one's killer. But he did say that, that God told him that there wasn't time for that anymore and that his work on the castle was more important now. What kind of skull is that? A dog, maybe? Here, got some antiques back there. Some old soda bottles and old farming equipment. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any way to get up to this walkway right here. I don't know if this is collapsed or, or not. It says, due to old age, need to hire someone. If you have any extra change, if not, come on in. Yeah, just look at all these little trinkets and things collected and made part of the castle. All right, so just wanted to stop in and see what has been going on with the Faith Castle, the Greenback Castle. Uh, it goes by a couple different names. Um, unfortunately, Junior doesn't appear to be here today. Uh, last time he was here, gave me the full tour. Uh, very generous, nice man. Uh, very interesting. Um, so yeah, 26 years, one man with his hand, his own two hands made this. We stopped here in uh, downtown Greenback. Look at that, they have a, a museum. And uh, they're having a special quilt show at said museum. And you know, I can't say no to museums or quilts. The lady just told me that unfortunately most of their exhibits here are covered by the quilt display. They hung the quilts in front of the other uh, exhibits, so. You know, quilts, quilts are always trying to take up more than their fair share, aren't they? Please wear gloves if touching quilts. Yeah, you'd hate to, uh, to ruin the quilt. The quilts are very, very sensitive. It's a heart monitor. 
donated in the memory of Norma and Bobby Tarwater. Over here we have some quilt federates. The museum is literally blanketed in quilts. Oh, here are the uh, corpse handling, I mean quilt handling gloves. You can make out a few exhibits through the quilt fog, such as this arrowhead horse. It's an old photo album. It says, Bobby Tarwater was voted most outstanding FFA member in the state. Way to go, Bobby. So many quilts. Quilts. Everywhere I look. Yeah, so it seems like quilts are almost like like an invasive species, like the zebra mussel. They, once they get in a museum, they just, they just take over everything. They just cover up all the other exhibits. And, uh, and they're the only thing that matters. But I love quilts. Sometimes, sometimes I sleep with a quilt. Anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Please check in the description below. See other places I've been, other quilts I've looked at, and other interesting places I've been. If you'd like to contribute to the channel, I have a t-shirt shop in the description as well, as well as a Patreon page where if you donate at least $3 a month, I'll send you postcards while I'm out and about on my journeys. But for now, this one's in the bag. <laughs>